If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question out before listening on. Our first step to solving this question is to consider the following equation. So in this equation, we have R0 and T0. These can serve as reference values for both the resistance and the temperature. And those values were given to us in the question. This 30 ohms right here could serve as our R0, and then the 20 degrees Celsius can serve as the T0. So again, those are just reference values. They then warm up the temperature, and what that does is it increases the resistance to 46.2 ohms. So that's going to serve as the resistance for this value right here. Our challenge is to find the temperature at which that resistance is achieved. So we're actually looking to solve for this temperature T. And to solve this equation for T, we're going to have to do some algebraic maneuvering. So why don't we slide the equation over to the middle of the screen. Now, since R0 is multiplying the term in the bracket, we can undo that by dividing both sides of the equation by R0. Once we cancel the R0 on the right side, we can drop the brackets. Since this is a plus one on the right side, we can do the opposite. We can subtract one from both sides of the equation. We could then divide both sides of the equation by alpha so that it cancels out on the right hand side. And then finally, we can add T naught to both sides of the equation. So we have successfully solved the equation for this temperature T that we're looking for. Recall again that the 30 ohms and the 20 degrees Celsius, those are going to be the reference values. So we're going to plug them in for that resistance and that temperature respectively. The other resistance was the 46.2 ohms. Finally, we need to look up the temperature coefficient of resistivity. That's going to be a value you can find in a table that's published in your textbook chapter. So for the particular wire in this case, which is aluminum, we have an alpha of 3.9 times 10 to the minus 3 degrees Celsius raised to the negative 1. So we can now plug in all the known values. And when we simplify this, we get approximately 1.6 times 10 to the power of 2. And since we've calculated a temperature, we'll use the standard unit of degrees Celsius. So that would indeed be the correct answer to part A of the question. Now, for part B of the question, we can recall that resistance is equal to a constant times the length of the wire divided by the cross-sectional area of the wire. Now, it turns out that when you raise the temperature of a wire, the cross-sectional area is going to increase more than the length will increase. They both will increase, that is the length and the area will both get larger when you heat up the wire, but the area will increase at a greater rate than the length. And because the area gets larger more so than does the length, that tends to reduce the resistance. So the answer to part B would be that the resistance would be slightly reduced due to thermal expansion. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.